What ethical concerns come to mind when you hear about animal cloning? The ethical concerns are on a number of levels. On one, um, our responsibility to the natural order and especially to the animals themselves. What are we doing? What are we creating? What kind of life is that clone going to have? Though a complete physical reproduction of its source, not having the same life experience or the same, um, the same contact as its donor has, what kind of life are we really giving it? And what are, how will we treat that life, expecting it to be like, let's say you have a puppy, and you want another puppy exactly like that one you had. Well, it's not going to be exactly like that first puppy. So what kind of life are we giving it when we put these false expectations on puppy number two to be like puppy number one? It's, I, that, to me, is there's an ethical dilemma there. There's also a dilemma in terms of our responsibility to nature and the world in which we live. That, as I said, we were given the world to till and to tend. We are here for it. It is not here for us. And uh, when we start manipulating genes in this way for our own benefit, uh, I wonder whether we're really fulfilling that mandate of our role or what our role should be within this world. Question number two. Do you believe the potential benefits of cloning outweigh the concerns of an ethical nature? I don't know about that. I think that there may be certain situations where perhaps science might be able to derive certain benefits that outweigh the ethical concerns, but I don't know enough about the cloning process or what can be learned from a cloned animal. And that's my question. Why are we doing it? Just to do it? Or is there, is there some real benefit that we can get from this new source. I mean, if this is the way, I mean, if you can, if, if you can, if you're doing it to get stem cells for certain kinds of cancer treatments or whatever, why are we cloning the whole animal? Why can't we just start working in terms of, on a scientific level, towards somehow learning how to grow stem cells uh, in a Petri dish or, or to change the nature of a cell from a human being and then using that for the immunotherapy, whatever. Th th there are all sorts of questions which are in my mind, so I don't know whether it does outweigh the ethical balance, but I would really be concerned about why are we doing it. If we're doing it just to do it, then that's not right. If there's a, a, a predictable or a desirable benefit that we're searching for, then we can enter into that discussion of does one outweigh the other. Do I believe that scientists seek to clone, when scientists seek to clone their playing God? I think they're trying to be like God. They're not playing God because God wouldn't do that kind of thing. But I think they're trying to be like God in the sense of creators of the universe and masters of the universe rather than um, servants of the world in which we live. And as I said, we're here for it. It's not here for us. And I'm really, I, I get worried. I get real worried when people start messing with nature. I'm afraid of what they might let loose. And it's kind of scary because we just don't know. If we were to consider the possibility of cloning extinct animals or endangered animals, do you have fewer or more ethical concerns than if you were to consider cloning animals for a medical therapeutic purpose? I really don't see the difference. I think, in, actually, I think the, the medical and therapeutic purpose, if we know or feel there is a predictable medical therapeutic purpose, then that would have a, a greater likelihood of my quote approval than doing it to make an animal that we're going to put in a zoo. Uh, you know, I, all I can think of is Jurassic Park, and, and what's going to happen? I mean, we mess around with the natural order of the world we live in so much so that is this just going to be one more thing we're going to mess up and make it worse when we start cloning animals or bringing back animals that are extinct? Uh, I mean, why are we doing it? In, our, in some ways, the best thing we can do is stop doing anything like that and let the world sort of repair itself for a while. It, 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 when you talk about ecology, the only people that are really ruining the world, as far as I know, in terms of their physical presence, are, are human beings. Most other animals have a greater sense of respect and, and, and a symbiotic relationship with the world in which we live. We just take everything for granted and keep pulling out of the earth and putting back the junk and saying, well, that's okay, it's my neighbor's backyard, it's not mine. So... Um, 
I'm not so sure that cloning extinct animals is a good idea either. I think the African concern is what are we doing to the order of nature and maybe we should leave it alone sometimes. It doesn't mean that if we can find a cure for something we shouldn't. It doesn't mean that if we can make a, meta, a some kind of scientific advance that will make world life in the world better we shouldn't pursue those kinds of things. But I think those should be the goals and not doing some of this other stuff just for the sake of doing it.